Have you ever taken a photo and thought, ooh, this would look better if it just had something a little bit extra in it? You know, something birds flying high, you know what I mean? So today we're gonna dive in, ooh, how can you add that stuff in? If it's just not happening at the time, how can you make it happen in Photoshop? It's Tutorial Tuesday. <laughs> Welcome back to Tutorial Tuesday, where every single week, every single Tuesday, you get a brand new, fresh photography tutorial. Now this week, we're diving back into Photoshop. We're gonna be looking at some photo manipulation stuff. So a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago, we did how to remove anything from a photo using Photoshop. And that was using four different tools within Photoshop to remove anything from blemishes, dust spots, all the way to people, really anything you want to clean up your images. This week, we're gonna be looking at something a little bit similar, but this time we're gonna be adding to your photo. And in this specific example, we're gonna be adding birds. Now birds are something that can add a lot of atmosphere, a lot of life to your landscape photos. And I think in terms of photo manipulation, they are fairly subtle. You know, photo manipulation is a difficult one because it's really easy to go crazy and then everything looks, looks just completely out, it just gets out of hand, it just gets really out of hand. Um, nothing looks realistic, and at that point it's more digital art than it is photography. But birds, I think, they're a really difficult one to nail actually in camera when you're taking a landscape shot, for example. Because you've got to set the composition perfectly, you're waiting for the light to be perfect, all that kind of stuff. And then you've got to just wait and hope that a bird flies perfectly, or a few birds fly perfectly, uh, into your frame and you manage to nail it with the shutter speed correct and all that kind of stuff. So you can see how this starts to get a little bit difficult, how it starts to get a little bit out of hand. So I think adding birds to your photos, especially landscape photos, can really add a lot to them. Um, and it's actually surprisingly easy to do. So we're gonna be diving into Photoshop. We're using Photoshop CC 2019. So it's based on the subscription service kind of product that Adobe offer uh, It's the latest version. But a lot of these techniques will work in older versions of Photoshop and indeed for other things other than birds. You know, you don't have to add birds, you can add other things if you want. Birds are just pretty straightforward um, and pretty easy to actually add into your photos. But before we do that, I'd love to just ask you guys what you would like to see from these videos. You know, whether you are more interested in this sort of video where we look at Lightroom or Photoshop and we're talking about the editing side of things, the editing of photos, or whether you're more interested in the kind of practical side of things in terms of tips for shooting sunset like last week, or tips for landscape photography or portrait photography and various things like that. You know, what would you like to see? Maybe it's both. Maybe you wanna see both, in which case, you know, we can talk about that. Maybe we maybe we start, uh, you know, splitting them up. Maybe we have two tutorials a week. Maybe we go an editing tutorial. Maybe we go a, uh, an actual shooting tutorial. You let me know what you'd like to see down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys because ultimately, that's what it's all about. So let me know down in the comments and then we can start putting that into practice. In the meantime, let's dive into Photoshop and I'm gonna show you exactly what we're gonna be doing. So I've got this photo right here. I really like it, it's taken in Dorset. I've got my model there kind of on the cliff tops, on the, on the hilltops there, um, taking photos. I think it's got a really nice adventure kind of feel to it. I really like the light, it was taken around sunset. You can see the sunlight coming up to the right. I used uh, filters in Lightroom to, uh, to enhance that. Oh, pop a link to that video down in the description. And I just I just like the vibe of it. I like the feel of it, the color tones, everything. But there were some birds flying around which aren't in the photo. So perhaps we could add some birds in right now. Now, the first thing you need to do when you're looking to add birds into a photograph, you're gonna need a picture of some birds in flight. Now, I'm gonna be using a photo that I actually took myself. So it's a photo from Rome. It's this photo here with the Vatican, and I've got a couple of birds just in the sky, and I think that's gonna be subtle enough. I'm gonna add that to the photo. But you can get pictures of birds pretty much from anywhere. So any photo that you've taken where you've actually got birds in flight, perfect. There's loads of stuff online though. Any stock photography website, Adobe Stock I had a look at before. There's so many on there. Um, but otherwise, yeah, all over the internet, you can find nice photos of birds in flight to add to your photos. So here we've got this photo. We've got, we've got you know, the Vatican. Nice, very nice, very nice. But we're gonna be taking the birds. So with the layer selector, we're gonna go ahead and come up here to the elliptical marquee tool. And I'm just gonna draw a selection around these two birds here. I think these are the two I'm gonna use. That gets them both. I'm gonna press Control C, come back over to my photo I wanna be putting them into, and press Control V. 
Now that's gonna create a new layer with this image on there. So I've got the circle of sky uh, with the two birds there. Now I'm gonna move them up here to sort of roughly where I'm gonna be putting them. And what we're gonna need to do is obviously remove that sky. We just want the birds, we don't want that, that sky in there. Now the easiest way to do this, we're gonna need to select that sky and we're gonna create a mask, a layer mask, which is going to hide that sky. Because that way we can still make adjustments later and stuff like that. So the way we're gonna do it, we're gonna select this layer with the birds on it. We're gonna come up here to select and we're gonna come down here to color range. Now this is gonna open this menu here. You can see there's a few different options. Uh, we've got eyedropper tools, we've got a fuzziness slider and we've got a preview of our image down here um, completely in black and white, very contrast heavy. Now what that's doing is showing us what we have selected so far. So I'm gonna use this eyedropper tool I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna click on the blue of the sky. I'm gonna come back over here to add to sample. So the one next to the eyedropper tool, you can see has a little plus next to it. And there's one next to that has a little minus. We're gonna click the one with a little plus and I'm gonna click and I'm just gonna drag around this little blue just to make sure I'm selecting all of the colors within that circle. Now what this is, what this is doing is exactly that. It's selecting the, the color that we're picking and what's ultimately gonna happen is we're gonna, when we hit okay, we're gonna have a selection of pixels that match that color. Now this preview here is showing us that everything in white is what will be selected and everything in black is what won't be selected. And you can see that we've got the circle there. We've also got over here on the left, uh, what looks like gonna be selected a bit of the sky in the image. You don't really need to worry about that because that sky is actually on a completely different layer. So it won't actually be affected at all. So we can go ahead uh, up to the fuzziness slider here and just adjust that. You can see as it goes up, it's selecting more and more. It's kind of uh, feathering out, I suppose, feathering out from those colors. And the lower down we go, the uh, the more kind of hard those edges of those colors are gonna be. I find that having it around somewhere between 50, sort of 70 usually works best. I'll have it about 65 for this one, um, but that depends on the photo and on the how uniform the sky is. In this, in this example, the sky is incredibly uniform. Uh, and then we can go ahead and click OK. Now you can see that has selected uh, the circle without the birds and a little bit over on the left. Again, don't worry about the bit over on the left, but with this layer selected, we're gonna come down here to the bottom right and I'm gonna click create layer mask or add layer mask. And you can see when I've clicked that, it has actually removed the birds. So the opposite of what we want. But that's not to worry. All we have to do is just invert that. So with the layer mask selected there, we just press Control I, and there we go. It's removed the sky and kept the birds. Layer masks are awesome. They are a really good way of making these kinds of adjustments. Um, can't recommend it enough. Essentially what we've got here is uh, white and black, white being what you can see and black being what is hidden. And we can literally just paint on there. In fact, we're gonna do that right now. So I'm gonna zoom in to our little, our little circle with the birds. And you can see there's still a little bit of an outline there around the birds where the circle was. So with the layer mask selected, not the layer itself, which is this, we've got the layer mask selected. We're gonna come up here to the brush tool. We're gonna to have black selected, which is which is what hides things. So for example, if I was to paint black over the bird, you can see it's gone. I'll just press Control Z to uh, to undo that. But I can just I can literally just paint black on this outline, and it is going to hide it. Perfect. Now we've just got the two birds in the image. Uh, we don't have that sky and we can really just place them however we want. So I can come up here to the move tool up in the top left. I can just move them around as I'd like. So I'm gonna leave them, I'm gonna leave them exactly like that. Uh, I like that, but I think they're probably a little bit uh, harsh in the environment. You know, over there we've got a situation where the light is uh, creating kind of a haze. So I can just come in here and just on that layer, just bring the opacity down a little bit. Let's do about 70, maybe maybe even a bit lower, maybe like 65%. I think that, that helps to blend them a little bit. And then another thing we can do, um, it doesn't probably matter as much here, but certainly in other situations, another thing that's really important is to kind of color correct 
the birds because they're from an image where the light is very very different so i'm going to come in with the uh with the original photo i'm going to right click duplicate layer and now i've got the background copy i'm going to drag that up to the top i'm going to come up to the blending mode and i'm going to select hue and what that's going to do is essentially just uh just make sure that the colors from the actual image that we've got the actual photograph are then applied to the the layer with the birds which means that they're going to match much much closer now again in this image it doesn't matter as much but in other images that would be much more of a of a concern now if you feel like those birds are too big because they're further away we can actually just go in and, and make them smaller so i've got layer one selected there with the birds i can press Control t and I can just scale them down a bit, maybe to something like that. I think that looks good. If I want to bring more birds into the photo, I can just find another photo where I've got different sets of birds. So, for example, this photo here, I've got some birds, so we can do the same thing. Quick little elliptical tool, Control c Control v Bring that up to the top right as well. Select, color range, and then this time we can go in and really just make sure we're selecting all of these colors i'm probably going to bring that up a little bit maybe to 79 maybe even maybe even 85 because i can see there's a few sort of wispy clouds and things like that um i'm going to go in press ok add layer mask and invert it there we go that one seems to have worked even better that doesn't seem to be much of a border kind of around where that circle was but i can go in and just make sure that I'm uh, that I'm just cleaning that up. There we go. Paint black over where the border is, and there we go. We've put another set of birds in there. That took what, a couple of minutes at most, and now we've got a nice couple of sets of birds in there. Um, you can adjust the size. You can adjust how many they are. You know, if I wanted to just take one of these out, like this bottom one, it'd be very easy. You can use the tips from the how to remove anything from a photo uh, video that we have to remove any of these. They'd be very very straightforward to get rid of. And it's just, it's just a very easy way of adding a bit of life to your photos. Now, again, you might feel it's it's too much to have these birds in there. It's not something that I would do on every photo, um, but it's something that on some photos, it just kind of adds something to it. It just, uh, it just adds a bit of life to an otherwise, what can be a relatively dull photo. Now, in this situation, it's quite an adventure photo. It's quite a nice feel to it anyway, so I don't think it needs it. But, uh, but a lot of photos, a lot of landscape photos can do with a little bit of something to just liven them up a little bit, just to bring a little bit of life and, and, and action in there as well. Now, if you have any questions about any of the techniques that we went through in the video, pop them down in the comments below. In fact, any questions that you have at all, pop them down there. That would be great. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I very much appreciate every single one of you who does that. But I'll tell you what, I appreciate you even if you don't, even just for turning up. I still appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe for new content because there's new stuff all the time. Uh, tutorials, obviously, all the time. Uh, we've got all kinds of other stuff now, Throwback Thursday, reviews as and when they happen, and just, uh, just all kinds of content. So make sure to subscribe. I think it's definitely worth your time. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, thanks for watching.